When you go to the doctor because you're ill or if you go to an emergency department, one of the first things they might do is to take a blood sample and send it away for measurement. And maybe a few hours later, the doctor will already have a list of dozens of different values. And these values will help the doctor to make a diagnosis. But in fact, everything that happens between the moment the sample is taken and the moment the doctor has the values is very complex. Because the sample in itself is already a complex substance. If you look uh, at the blood that is going through your veins in your body, it contains uh, thousands of substances, so thousands of proteins, thousands of small molecules. And in the laboratory, they want for each of these tests to measure only one of them. So they have to measure one substance out of this whole big complicated mixture. And this is not an easy thing to do. And for example, if your cholesterol level is too high, a doctor will prescribe a treatment that you will have to take for many months, maybe years, and that might do some damage to your muscles. So we really need this blood test to be reliable, to be trustworthy. And there are other examples where uh, the, ac the actual value that comes back from the laboratories really determines what will happen to you. And that is why we develop what is called reference systems. These reference systems are reference methods and reference materials, and they serve as anchor points. Next time you go to the doctor, think about all the science that lies behind these measurement results.